Hello, Wastelanders. The new America Rising 2 Fallout 4 mod, Legacy of the Enclave, is out, and I am here to tell you, you have to download this mod and do an Enclave playthrough of Fallout 4 today. The bad guys of the Fallout franchise, with all of the styling panache and authoritarian leanings of the Empire in Star Wars, are now a 100% full-fledged faction in every sense of the word. You have to experience this. Let's start with a tour of their major bases and facilities that make them such a viable option now in Fallout 4. First off, the oil rig. As you can see, that fantastic black bad guy style everywhere. The Office of Compliance. The Office of Research and Science. The Office of the Military. Let's take a look at some of the other fun details here available on the oil rig. How about the new training area? Do you like what you see? This is not the best part. It's not all props, folks. Let's go see some stuff you can actually make use of. Some of this Enclave art, fantastic. But here is a firing range, and it's not just like any firing range. It's not just a target here or there that you can shoot at. No, this is fully interaction capable. You push this button, the targets start popping up. At the end, you get a score. My best so far, 97. I didn't get anywhere close to 97 on this particular round, but check this out. It gets hopping. And yes, I am firing an Enclave specific laser. We'll get to that. So if the training center wasn't enough and you want more, yes, of course, the oil rig has a quartermaster with a store that has Enclave specific it equipment in it. But it's the same These resources are ones we're going to get into a little bit later in the video, but you're going to want to have them. Also on this oil rig are better quarters than you have been provided for by any other faction. Take a look at this room. Not only is it pretty cool and stylish, it also on the wall has a workshop-like function so that I can customize this room. I haven't touched the room so far, but I can build things and move things, destroy things, you name it. But here's where we start. Gear, you know, nice hardwood paneling. This place is lavish. Next up, there is an entire factory on the oil rig. Just underneath the oil rig, this massive factory where they build their brand new equipment for you that is so spectacular. It's a sprawling factory with many rooms and antechambers, and it's not just here for show. There are quest elements, of course, in virtually every part of the oil rig, from the reactor core to the conference room. But maybe you need more. Maybe you still have doubts and you're thinking one good base does not a legitimate viable faction make well you're right allow me to present to you base number two the north boston police department it's like the cambridge police department that the brotherhood of steel occupies but better bigger cooler inside no joke this is a great jumping off point for missions throughout the commonwealth but maybe you need to see more maybe two bases aren't enough i present to you the army supply depot the Enclave brings you your very own, well-preserved, pre-war military facility. This is not just a location. It has lots of quest involvement and it evolves over time. I'm going to take you on a brief tour. You will not be disappointed. First, we leave the vertebrate landing pads because, of course, there are vertebrate landing pads. On your right, you see the shooting range because, of course, there's a shooting range. And yes, we will make use of that later to demonstrate some very cool things about Enclave weaponry. Now, as we run around the base behind the headquarters building to the left, to the right, let me show you the obstacle course. That's right, the athletic training course. It is really cool to run through that. I invite you to do it on your own, but it is fun. You need a little parkour training, you're gonna get it there. And then to the left, we have fully staffed and stocked barracks for the troops. Lots of details in those, check them out at your leisure. You will love it. Off to the right there, you see the utilities department. There are more things going on over there too, but I'm not gonna run all the way there because I have an even bigger treat in store for you. That's right, there is a player home here in the military supply depot. You have your very own workbench, and as you will momentarily see, you are given a bigger plot of land to work with to build your player home than you were at, say, the Boston airport. All of this is very cool, but if we're honest with ourselves, the real question, I suppose, for a lot of us is, 
will we look cool? If there's one thing the bad guys always bring to the table, it's the fashion. So without further ado, let's preview the Enclave's hottest new looks, shall we? What you're seeing right now is the Frost uniform for snow combat and some combat armor gear, including an Enclave-specific chess piece, but they also have the Desert uniform, the Urban uniform. That's right, looks pretty good. Notice that the Enclave-specific combat armor has its own metallic sheen. It's a lot cleaner than even typical shadowed combat armor, probably because they have a factory making it brand new. You want to look like the badass leader that you are? Check out some of their officer wear. Are you more into stealth? Do you want to be covert ops? How about this chameleon covert ops suit? That's right, available from the quartermaster on the oil rig. These are all sharp looks, but let's say you prefer something a little more rustic. Colonel Whitehill's outfit should have you taken care of. Now, headgear. Enclave-specific beret. Enclave-specific officer hats. Enclave-specific flight helmets. Enclave-specific gas masks with that wonderful bad guy look. And as promised, I'm going to show you that the Enclave is also bringing it where it counts. With the oil rigs factory running again. We'll have the best gear in the Commonwealth. He's right, they do. Let's use the firing range to demonstrate. You may be familiar with Final Judgment, Elder Maxon's Gatling laser that has 25% faster fire rate. Let's take a look at its performance. A really nice weapon, a wonderful one to get. I'm always pumped when he drops it if we destroy the Brotherhood. 124 damage, 340 speed. Now let's take a look at a basic Enclave Gatling laser, 144 damage, 363 speed. It has one of the best the vanilla back. Gatling lasers in the whole game, Beat. And it has this awesome yellow laser beam Enclave style. How could you want anything more? But there is more. Let's take a look at their plasma weaponry. Here's a basic plasma gun, 155 damage in both energy and physical. That's nothing to sneeze at. Let's take a look at the Enclave version. 207, 250 damage. This is a unique weapon. It's a quest gift, but its damage numbers are the same as a standard Enclave plasma rifle. That's right. They do plasma better. Maybe it's because of their new factory. The Purifier is an example of the Enclave's specific laser rifle. 181 damage. A regular laser rifle with this character only gets up to about 163. That's not all. As I'm about to show you, it also has that cool Enclave yellow beam. So if you're a little sick of red or blue, you've got a third alternative now. Enclave weapons bring in the style. A third weapon in my inventory is the Enclave Vertibird Signal Grenade and Enclave Vertibirds are better than Brotherhood of Steel. Let's take a look. Been a heck of a ride, hasn't it, ma'am? Listen, to say thanks for all the hard work, Colonel Whitehill authorized the Vertibird to be on standby for you. But it's not just a Vertibird, it's a custom Vertibird. They give you five Vertibirds to choose from, each with their own names and paint schemes. Let's take a look at our options, shall we? That one. American Woman, America's Guardian, Patriot, Killer, and my personal favorite, Cherry Bomber. This is American Woman. Nice retro paint scheme on that. Let's take a look at option number two. America's Guardian. Again, a nice retro scheme. This is Killer. Pretty in your face with that one. And my favorite, Cherry Bomber. I didn't find Patriot. It's just a lot of stars and stripes. But let's hop in the Cherry Bomber. Go for a ride and let me show you what these things do so well. Will the Vertibird stay and help me fight? Of course. If your AO is hot, the pilot will offer some covering fire. Some covering fire was the understatement of the year. Let me show you. We're landing here at Scrap Palace. It's full of super mutants. After dropping me off, Cherry Bomber takes back to the sky. Now, this is really handy because there are a lot of enemies in this area. And as I head up here to tackle them on the ground, you can see the laser shots, you know, getting uh, drawn by the vertebrate up there. It's drawing the enemy's fire. It means that they're coming after me a little bit less. 
Of course, the Enclave also gave me this wonderful laser that does more damage against super mutants. So that's pretty handy in this encounter as well. And as you can see and hear, the Vertebird is hovering above the facility. And later, when I went to inspect, there were at least a couple of enemies that the Vertebird itself must have taken out because it wasn't me that did it. So here I am, finishing off some super mutants. I cleared this entire Scrap Palace location. But it didn't stop there. Afterwards, the Vertebird stayed above. And then I just decided to head cross country. I leave the Scrap Palace location and I just start crossing the land and guess who's still with me? Yeah, minutes later, I still have an escort. How cool is that? No Brotherhood of Steel Vertebird has ever done that for me. Not only that, I go inside the WRVR radio building, I talk to people for a few minutes, I come out onto the roof. Okay, maybe the Vertebird's gone. I pick a fight with the Super Mutants over on the Coast Guard Pier a couple of minutes later. And guess who is here to back me up? That's right. My Enclave Vertebird is still in the area, and it starts attacking the Super Mutants for me, drawing their fire yet again. Talk about support! I'm telling you, I would play this faction just for this incredible new Vertebird behavior, because it is wonderful, and it's immersive. And eventually, yes, the Vertebird takes enough fire from enough sources, minutes later, that it goes down. Right, they take out my Enclave Vertebird, but guess what? That's not the end of the story either, because like the Brotherhood of Steel Vertebirds, it apparently had some crew members packing some serious ordnance on it. Watch what happens now. That's right, Enclave Gatling Gun taking out a Raider Badass, doing a better job of it than I am at this distance. And not only that, this Raider and this Super Mutant Behemoth both get finished off by the Enclave troops in X-01 Power Armor that got dropped here. Have I shown you enough? Do you need more? More reasons? Are you so greedy that you need more reasons to play this right now? Well fine, then I'll give you some. How about a faction-specific companion? That's right, you get one with the Enclave. We've executed our orders to the letter. So with your permission, I'd like to back you up on any future missions you may embark on. If you ever need backup, you know where to find me. Good luck out there. Do you see how the Enclave has your back? And as if that wasn't enough, X-01 Power Armor. I almost forgot to mention it because we all know how powerful this stuff is. But maybe you're thinking a full-fledged faction would bring more than just goodies. Well, guess what? They do. How about Radiant Quests? Major, I need your help with something. We want to deploy a salvage team to a facility in the Commonwealth, but they aren't combat ready. We need the facility to be clear of hostiles, and I haven't got any squads to spare right now. Can you take care of this? The Enclave Eradication Radiant Quests are a I'll lot like clearing the Commonwealth okay. Quests from Knight Reese with the Brotherhood of Steel, but the okay. Enclave doesn't just copy-paste Radiant Quests. They even came up with some new stuff that you will find refreshing, like this one from Excuse Lieutenant me, Fitzpatrick. Major, I got a situation on my hands and I need your help. A vertebrate's taken heavy damage and has made an emergency landing. We can't afford to lose that bird. I need you to bring this repair kit to the pilot so they can try and get it flying again. Here's the tool kit. Just hand it over to the pilot and they'll do the rest. If anything takes out that vertebrate or the pilot dies, the mission's foobar. Watch your back out there. And yes, I did play that quest and yes, I did enjoy it. But you're probably thinking to yourself, a real faction can't just be a bunch of side quests, a bunch of side locations, and a bunch of new toys that are a little better than the regular stuff. You're right. A real faction has to be able to affect the main storyline. A real faction has to be that epic. And now, the Enclave are. You want to affect the main storyline with the Enclave, you can do it as well as with any other main faction in the game. You want to take out the railroad, like you can with the Brotherhood of Steel or the Institute? Wish granted. You can do it with the Enclave. Not impressed yet? Believe me, you're gonna be. Because if you want to take out the Brotherhood of Steel, why not take them out in the most epic fashion possible? Huge battles in multiple phases, in new locations. Here's Paladin Dance getting taken down outside of a missile silo that the Brotherhood has rigged to try to destroy the Enclave oil rig. Here we are in the control room 
gunning down Proctor Ingram and Elder Maxon. Now I'm trying not to have too many spoilers in here, but I just had to show you this dungeon so that you know that you're getting the full package. This is how I had Final Judgment in my inventory to show you. So the Enclave is now on par with all the other factions that can take out the Brotherhood, but they are above the rest when it comes to the Institute. That's right, you have taken out the Institute a number of ways. Get ready for a new one. The Enclave doesn't blow it up. The Enclave assimilates it. Here we are in the relay room, and waiting for us is an Enclave officer. Like I said, I don't want to give you too many spoilers, but I need you to appreciate the kind of things that a playthrough like this brings you. I'm not even going to show you the brand new way that we managed to envelop the Institute into the Enclave. I'm just going to show you that here I am in the Institute talking to Enclave soldiers. Now the Institute and the Enclave are working together. You have access to the resources of both of those factions and you don't lose the Institute when you conquer them. See? X01 Power Armor and a synth trooper right next to each other, they are both yours to command now. I want you to take a second to let that sink in. And Institute quests in the DLC Far Harbor aren't broken either. What are you waiting for? Why haven't you installed this yet? Have I not shown you enough? Okay, you savages, I know what you really want. You want proof that this enclave brings the pain, that it has lots and lots of massive battles and bloodshed. Well, here you go. Let me know when you've seen enough. Okay, geez, here you go. You want more destruction? The Enclave can bring more destruction. But when will you finally be satisfied? That's enough. Phew. Okay, guys, I think we can finally take a break. I think they're finally convinced they've seen enough. Listen, I love you guys, you're my people, but it's time to call it. That's enough! Okay, let's just take it down a notch for a minute. I hope you see my point. You need to play America Rising Legacy of the Enclave. And maybe you need some therapy. Okay, all you Wasteland Psychos, if you have enjoyed this content, please help me make more of it. Leave a like, subscribe. It may seem like a small thing, but... I really do put a lot into these videos for you, and any support you give me means the world to me. And now I leave you with the inspirational so words long, of Colonel Whitehill. We have finally made real progress. We've succeeded where others have failed. We're the strongest detachment of Enclave forces, and we'll only grow stronger! We'll drive out lawlessness. We'll drive out hostile mutants and will eliminate those who stand against us. The future belongs to the honor.